um, on behalf of the uh, Children's Rights Alliance, uh, the UNESCO Child and Family Research Centre and the Prevention and Early Intervention Network, I'd like to welcome you here this morning to, I think, a very important event. Um, we are going to be discussing uh, the new Child and Family Support Agency. We have all of the key players here today, including the Minister. Um, we hope that out of today there will be many constructive suggestions made and I suppose that we'll get an opportunity to talk about what we see are the key principles that should under, underlie this new agency. We very much welcome the opportunity to have uh, this discussion. We know that a tremendous amount of work has been done on uh, structuring the agency. Uh, indeed, uh, the plans are very advanced. So we do welcome the opportunity to, to have a say, to try and influence how the uh, agency is shaped uh, going forward. Um, I, I, I want to start today by saying that um, you know, we have had very exciting and significant developments in the area of child welfare and child protection and children's rights. Uh, we can't let today go by without acknowledging the fact that this minister is the minister that managed to deliver on a constitutional referendum. I'm not sure that uh, we've really realised the significance of that. Um, I know that there's been uh, lots of conversations about it, uh, about you know, the percentages by which it passed, etc. But at the end of the day, uh, this was delivered on. And this was a promise made by many ministers. Uh, we in the sector felt that this was a key uh, development that needed to be progressed and uh, it was progress. So I think we should celebrate that fact um, and congratulate the Minister on achievement. Um, and so we're in a very exciting place. And of course, the next key step is that this agency is grounded in children's rights. We sort of have to have a debate about what that means. We have to consider what that means. But ultimately, we don't really have a choice now because we have a constitutional uh, referen we, we have a, a constitutional amendment, it's very clear in the constitution, but most importantly, uh, the public, the people of Ireland have spoken and said that they value children's rights. So, um, saying all of that, I want to move on. Um, I want to introduce, first of all, uh, our, I suppose, our two speakers for this morning, uh, the Minister and Gordon Jays, who, who will be the CEO, who is the CEO of the new agency. Um, neither of them need an introduction, but I, I suppose... Before I call on the Minister to speak, just to say that uh, the Minister has driven lots of reforms. Uh, she is committed to children's rights. She is committed to protecting children uh, within an environment where there is lots of pressures on budgets, etc. And so we're delighted that she's here today and I'll call on her to, to, to make a presentation. Thank you. 